Hello, I just thought I'd record a quick video on the updates to Nornia. Uh, it's just had version 3.0 released. Um, it's, it's actually been out for a little while now in a beta, but it's now on mainstream. So we're running Nornia 3.0. And if you are running a previous version of Nornia, uh, there are a couple things that are going to break with the uh, trying to run what you've got already configured with Nornia 3.0. I'm going to step through what those things are and what you need to change when upgrading to 3.0. Now, the main change into the 3.0 version of the software is the config file and the four num workers. That uh, element of the configuration file changes. Uh, the inventory plugin is simplified. So this was my previous config file here. So I had core num workers and then inventory plugin nornia.plugins.inventory.simple.simpleinventory. Um, I've commented all those out now, and this is my new nornia 3.0 config file. So the inventory plugin is just simple inventory. That's simple. Uh, the host file group file and defaults file remain the same, so that just fits under there. And then the core workers has now changed to runner, plugin threaded options, and then in here is where you put your num workers. So this is how many threads that you want Nornia to run. Uh, the inventory stays the same, and I've got a simple task here. So this is a task that's just going to run a show IP interface brief against a couple routers which we'll go through in a minute um, but we now need to import the print result and uh, the netmeco send command from nornia utils and from nornia netmeco we'll go through that in a live demo now i am currently running um, Check. Oh. Check the current version that I'm running of Nornia. And I've currently got here. Nornia 2.4. Okay, so I'm upgrading from 2.4. I'm not actually going to upgrade this version here. I'm actually going to create a virtual environment and then install 3.0 straight into it. So, first of all, we need to go into my virtual environments folder. I'm going to make a directory called Nornia. already there so I've got the folder called Nornia cd into that folder then create the virtual environment so python3 minus m bm Nornia And I'm going to activate that source. Yeah, on here. Slash bin slash activate. Okay, so I'm now in my virtual environment, and in here I'm going to install Nornia three. So I do a pip three or Nornia. Now, if I do a pip freeze, this one. You can see that I've now got Nornia 3.0 stored. Also need to install 
a saw, Nornia utils. I have to install Nornia. Okay, so now we've got all those bits installed. So I've now got Nornia 3 fully installed. I've installed the Nornia Utils and the Nornia NetMiko. They're separate plugins now. I have changed my config file that now contains the runner option, simple inventory, and the task that we're going to use is this one, Nornia 3 task 1, and from Nornia import init Nornia, from the Nornia utils, print result. Nornia Net Miko and can also from or F. Uh, the config file remains the same, and I've got a filter here that is just a splitting router to filter for any groups that contain CSR, and then we're going to run the show I brief. So you my Posts here. Got 20 routers here, but literally the first two, just for brevity, one and two are just in the group CSR. So I now need to change directory. Okay, so there's one other thing I need to do. got an error. So the reason I'm getting an error here for util see if I actually run this task. Created the virtual environment. But this is now saying no module name utils. This is currently default. Environment here, which is Python 3.6. This is where I've got earlier version stored. So I just need to tell Visual Studio. Virtual environment. It's going to be. And now, then here in video, you should interpret a change. Yep, that change. So now it's saying at Nornia VM. So I'm now that where I'm going to run the scripts from. File no such file config dot yaml yaml. So the final thing I need to do is actually change to the directory where my script is. First of all. Back into my virtual environments. Uh, 
activate that one again. folder folder now I can run this Nornia dot pi see that that's now successfully run the Shy IP interface brief against those two devices. So just to recap there, what I did is I was running Nornia 2.4, um, which is still installed on my main system. I've then created a directory and installed Nornia 3.0 into that directory, created a virtual environment. So I'm now running Nornia 3.0 within my virtual environment and then I've changed a couple elements in the config file that's the runner option here runner plugin threaded up 20 then the inventory plugin was the simple inventory in this task Just have to store Nornia underscore utils and the Nornia underscore Miko as two separate packages. That's it. And then run the simple, simple task here just a IP interface brief against the two routers. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, if you just look up the latest documentation uh, for Nornia, everything's listed there, but I thought this would be easy to see it in action. So it, it, there's a couple of things that need to be done, but uh, nothing too onerous. So my name is Roger Perkin. Um, I'm CCIE 50,038. Uh, making videos on automation if you've only just found me then please do hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified of any new videos post up and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you and have a great day